Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, May 10th, and I'd like to talk to you about the Europa Super Show pre-judging from last night. Um, Branch Warren, what can I say about Branch? He's a Texas rattlesnake. Came in looking sick, totally reinvented himself from last week, guest posing in Pittsburgh. Uh, most muscular, this guy's one of the three or four most musculars at the Arnold Classic. In fact, that's what he was known for until he finally won the uh, contest in Columbus. He, uh, from the back, great separation, you know, very good hamstrings, good glutes, like always. His wheels are always sick. Structurally, you know, he's got his issues. I mean, he's not like the, uh, he's not the, he's not the ideal template for the classic bodybuilder, but he's done everything possible with what he's got. He is a late entrant to the show. He is, his mom's in the audience. He told Dave Palumbo he's never lost in front of his mom. So uh, I think he's going to win. But honestly, in a, in a fair world, I think he would play second, uh, which is still, I mean, it, to me, that is, that is a humongous compliment. Uh, but maybe to him it's not because, again, we are talking about a Mr. Olympia runner-up and an Arnold Classic champion. And this is a show that, quite frankly, he wouldn't have looked at twice two or three years ago. And a lot of people have made that point. Uh, in second place, it looks like Fuad Abiyat's going to get it uh, from Team Menace. Looked, he looked insane. I mean, he, he looked incredible. Uh, the chest was there. The delts were there. The back was there. The wheels were there. The midsection was there. Very good midsection. Not everybody in the top six can say that. I know Branch can. No offense. Um, but I didn't have Fuad winning any of the poses in the first callouts. Uh, he did help hold his own very well. But, uh, you know, to me, he, he, he would be a third place, in, in my opinion. Uh, in third place, uh, according to the scorecards and what it looks like it's going to be, it's Johnny Jackson. Uh, again, Johnny Jackson has won many contests backed by Mutant Nutrition, or just Mutant, I think. There's a, there's a Mutant Nutrition that's not the actual Mutant we're talking about. Incredible back. Uh, a back almost reminiscent of Ronnie Coleman or uh, David Henry. You got that thick powerlifting torso. Uh, when he was posing alone, it almost looked like he was avoiding turning around. I know Dave Palumbo and Chris Acido had, had noted that. When he did turn around, though, uh, you know he looked amazing. The back was obviously there. The hamstrings were there. So were the glutes striated? I think I think they were striated. Um, if not, they were very close. Uh, calves were there. Everything was there. So he brought it from the back. His legs were brought up. So that's good. Um, to me, again, in an honest world, in a fair world, uh, in my world, uh, he would get fourth, but he got he's going to get third. Um, in fourth place, we have Daniel Talk. And uh, if you uh, click the link below, you're going to go to uh, Christian Duke's uh, Dallas Europa pre-judging report, which is at rxmuscle.com, RX Muscle number one in contest coverage. Uh, I compare uh, Daniel Toth to Lionel Bayeki. Um, Lionel Bayeki was relegated to fourth place in Rio for the Arnold Brazil. He was robbed. And uh, in this show, uh, Daniel Toth has been relegated to fourth when in fact he should have won this show. And let's, let's be clear also about how contests are decided, whether it's the Europa, the Arnold, or the Olympia, or it's the Mr. Mayberry. Contests are decided in the prejudging. The night show is for the fans. The night show is for entertainment. The night show does not determine the winner. Yes, it did determine the winner, I guess, for like the 91 Olympia when Lee Haney won in the, you know, the posing round, or, you know, Ronnie Coleman came back in 2001 and won in the posing round, or Jay Cutler came back in 2007 and won in the posing round. But really, you know, the night show is, is, is not where winners are, you know, know uh, found or whatever um but uh daniel had incredible side tricep he won that pose the rear double bicep he won that pose the front lat spread he won that pose and the other poses that he didn't win he was like a close second or even a third which numerically should give him the win um a little thick in the waist again so is branch uh, that's not to me to me that doesn't disqualify him from the first spot. I honestly think that also in the comparisons, uh, this is a point that I have to give to Dave and Chris, and, and it's something that I saw myself. Uh, and, and Nguyen, who's a, my good friend, um, who I've interviewed for Strength Addicts and who I believe did an amazing job, uh, he was actually wedged in between Branch and uh, Daniel Toth. And honestly, uh, you know, you never got to see Branch next to Toth. And I think that, that, that you know, again, the judges... Had their cut, their work cut out for him. They did a great job. I, and this is no slant on the judges or the you know or you know the establishment or anything like that because they did a good job. I mean, no one's perfect. 
Um, I just think that it was one of those things. I think it was just happenstance, you know. I think I don't think that there was any, you know, um, covert or or any like malicious, you know, like crap going on where they didn't want uh, told to stand next to Warren. It just happened to be that that's how that you know that that's just how the cookie crumbled or whatever. I don't know. Fill in the blank. Um, but I think that. Uh, I think that if, if you would have seen, you know, Toth next to Warren, it would have been a lot easier. Uh, I don't know. I saw I, I saw it from the cameras. I saw it from home. And, um, you know, if you're there, you know, but Dave and Chris were there. And, and they were saying the same thing. And I'm not trying to be like, you know. Anyways. Uh, fifth place and win. Uh, I had him winning the side tricep. I, it was a little blurry, but from what I saw, I liked his side tricep. And I think he nailed it really well. Uh, one thing, one pose that he did get a tie in, which is very good, uh, is the ab and thigh shot with Johnny Jackson. Uh, and was just really, really spot on. His posing was great. He didn't fade in the comparisons. He had a, a total midsection control, which I have to say, Johnny Jackson and, and Wynn were the only ones that really controlled their midsection. And, you know, I'm not going to say that there was any like GH bellies or distended, you know, stomachs or anything like that, but, but, but these guys, these two guys in particular really control it the whole time. Um, so, uh, so, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty much, uh, I think he's going to get a fifth place, which I think he really deserves. And I think, honestly, he could even move up to fourth. Uh, if, if he could somehow knock Johnny Jackson out uh, in the night show. But again, the night show to me, I, I'm, I'm a skeptic, you know. I don't think the night show really matters points-wise. But, uh, but you know, it, it, everything's possible. And I, t I put on his Facebook page, I said, you know what, just stay focused, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, you're, you're, in, the, you're in the mix, you're in the top five. So um, just keep what you're doing. Now, uh, for number six, uh, number six is a little Eddie Wilson. Eddie Wilson, I think... And I put this on my report. I really believe he belongs in that top six. I think he did a phenomenal job. He brought it. He didn't have any... I don't think he had any weak body parts, personally. His posing was great. But then when he got into the comparisons, Chris Aceto was the first to notice this. Then Dave Palumbo. And then I did, too. I didn't want to... I didn't want to... Um, I don't like I don't like the word fading out. I, I don't like that term. I don't like the concept of it. And so when Chris brought it up, I was like, eh, that's, that's nitpicking. But, but he was right. And then he really did fade. He really did fade in the comparisons. And, and it almost looked like he was just like kind of like falling asleep there a little bit. The, the one that, but nothing like uh, uh, Bidos Abaspor, I think his name is. This guy, again, if you read my 212 report, this guy was a solid second. I mean, I honestly thought in some poses this guy was, was defeating a guy, Sister Nino. Thank you very much. I honestly think he was defeating Guy Sister Nino. But then when he got to the comparisons, he was like literally like comatose. He was like falling asleep. Um, I don't know. I personally think that he thought that he had it in the bag and that there was really no purpose. Did he season for us? Oh, I think that he thought it was in the bag. And that there was no point to pose anymore. I don't know. But whatever it is. Eddie faded, and Eddie was also the smallest guy up there, and Dave, Dave actually mentioned that Andy Wynn was also pretty small, they needed to put more mass on, but I don't think Dave made the same comment about Eddie, and I wouldn't make the same comment either, sorry, um, I think Eddie, as the smallest guy on there, deserved to be in that top six. But I don't know that adding more mass to that frame would get him any higher in this lineup. That's just my personal opinion. I don't think he has any flaws. Uh, adding more mass to Andy Nguyen, I think could actually bump him up one or two placings. You know, I think he could. I think he could beat John Jackson, and I think he'd beat Fuad Abia. I, but that's just me. You know, some people say he has a streaming physique. I don't think so. I think he really brought it, and um, I think we're going to be seeing a lot more Andy Nguyen and, and a lot more of the West Coast. Um, so that's uh, pretty much everything I have to say. I was trying to go for um, two minutes, but it's going on ten minutes. So if you watch this, I would put, I would put it on RX Muscle. Uh, I'll probably get four views. And uh, I mean, who wants to see me? You got uh, Chris. Uh, I was gonna say Chris Palumbo. You got Chris Cito and Dave Palumbo. I mean, and 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 beyond them. I mean, I mean, really, you got Bob Chicarillo. I mean, who's gonna want to see me? I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you did watch, and if you didn't. Uh, well, you didn't watch it, so why should I say anything to you?